Stephen Fennick from Tech Guide here, and today we're looking at the new M1 powered iMac. It's available in seven colors. We've just received the purple edition. Now this has been completely redesigned. It's only 11.5 millimeters thick, has a 24 inch retina display, and we're gonna unbox it and show it to you right now. There it is, that, that just gives you an idea of how thin this computer is. Purple color, we're going to We're going to unwrap it. Got the Apple logo on the back here. That just gives you an idea of the thickness of the of the computer there. It says hello on the front. It's got this beautiful purple color. Now we need to peel off that's actually a sticker on the back. Ooh, deep purple colour. There's the removing the So that's Got the white bezel, the glossy front, glossy front chin, and on the back here, I'll finish. I'll finish taking off the, the plastic. Still a little bit under here, covering the power, the power port there. But that's it right there. We've also got all the accessories: keyboard, mouse trackpad this is the power brick and the cable and this is the the cord that goes to our PowerPoint so let's this is the keyboard which matches the the iMac so there's the that's the keyboard with the touch ID sensor so the touch ID button here and of course we have the matching magic mouse so that's purple as well to match to match the computer so we've got purple purple magic mouse purple keyboard and i'm assuming a purple accented trackpad as well so we've got the full color coordination happening here There we go, and even even the cable that, that connects the power brick to the computer is a matching color as well. So we have that here. It's purple, it's a purple rain. So we've got purple magic, magic mouse, we've got the purple keyboard with touch ID and the purple trackpad as well. And this is the power cord that then goes into the wall. And this is the magnetic cable that connects directly into the computer. Even the USB-C to lightning cable to charge the mouse and the trackpad, that is also purple. Probably can't see it there, but it does, it does match the power cord and the other accessories. The power cord attaches through the stand and clicks into place. But here's the power brick. A really interesting thing about the power brick is that it has the, the area to connect the power cable, but it also has the ethernet port. So if you wanna, you're gonna connect hardwired connection and ethernet cable to your computer, to the iMac, then it goes straight here. So that's, that'll go off the desk. So that's, that's less, less clutter that you're going to have on the desk. So ethernet connection right here next to your power. 
Well, we've set up the iMac. It's sitting here right on our desktop. We've got the keyboard, the trackpad, and the mouse set up as well. But one thing we wanted to demonstrate was the built-in FaceTime HD camera. And that's how we're recording this clip here right now with the built-in camera. It is now 1080p, so it gives you even better quality for your video meetings, your virtual meetings. We've spent plenty of time in video conferences in the last year. So now with the new iMac, you can look even better thanks to this new FaceTime HD camera. Well, one of the first things we really need to talk about is the design of the new iMac. It has certainly been a huge upgrade and you really need to see this with your own eyes to appreciate just how thin the iMac actually is. It's 11.5 millimeters thick, so right away it is a striking design. The colors also, uh, we've got our purple uh, iMac right here, but the seven colors that are available, uh, all of the accessories, the keyboard, the trackpad, the mouse, even the cable, the power cable, all matches the design. So the, the color scheme reminds me of the iMacs at the late 20th century when they were not the original iMac, but the first colorful iMacs. Back in the day, oh, the iMac that I bought was the green iMac, and it had a mouse matching, mouse matching keyboard. And I feel the same, the same things happening right here. Now, the idea back then, which was is, is which is true for for today, is that it's des it's designed to appeal to a customer and and show them that this is a product that doesn't have to sit in a in a room in a dark corner. It's the sort of product you you're going to want to use around the home, whether it's in your office, whether it's in your lounge room, whether it's even in your kitchen, uh, in your study. This is a device that is going to be used by the family, by the household, by whoever needs to use it in, in any way they see fit. So I think the color, the designs here and the range of colors available is a really smart move by Apple because it is going to appeal to that customer who doesn't want a beige box sitting in the middle of their house, but they want something that's going to look really nice and fit into their decor wherever they decide to use it. Now, just to give you an idea of how thin the iMac is, I'm going to spin it around just so you can appreciate the the thickness there. So that's that's 11.5 millimeters thick, and it is so thin that Apple had to put the headphone jack on the side of the iMac. It couldn't be on the back of the iMac because it wasn't thick enough. And I'll, I'll give you an example. I, ha I do have a headphone jack right here. The headphone jack is actually thicker than the computer. If you can see that, the headphone jack is, if they had to put the headphone jack in the back, it, would, it wouldn't have been thick enough to accept that 3.5 mil jack, which hence the reason it's actually on the other side here. So it's gonna be plugged into the side of the iMac instead of the back. Now let's talk about the display. The new iMac has a 24 inch 4.5K Retina display. It's made up of more than 11.3 million pixels. So uh, can produce billions of colors and anything that you're watching, whether it's streaming, whether it's a video that you're editing or photos you're editing, they're gonna look fantastic on this screen. So it gives you really good quality as Retina displays we've seen over the years always have delivered, so does the new display on the new iMac. Another really impressive feature of the iMac is its speaker system. There are six speakers, would you believe, built into this really thin chassis. There are also two force cancelling woofers, each supported by a couple of tweeters as well. The result is some amazing sound quality, including really nice high and mid levels and a really impressive level of bass. So I think once you get your get your hands on an iMac and play your music through the computer system, you you won't need to get a pair of separate speakers to make the sound to make it sound better. It's going to sound better out of the box. The iMac is of course powered by Apple's very own M1 processor, so the result is speed and performance. 
out of the box, you'll notice that you'll be able to do things like editing multiple streams of 4K video, a single stream of 8K video, if, you've, if you can do that, the M1 iMac can handle it. We've already seen M1 Macs produced by Apple, the, the MacBook Air last year, the MacBook Pro, but the M1 has, has now come to the desktop, and that's a big deal. For those customers who want to have that power and performance, the iMac, despite its, its pretty colors and matching accessories, does deliver in the performance stakes as well. So don't think that this can't handle anything you throw at it, whether it's video editing, picture editing, playing the, the latest and greatest games with the latest and greatest graphics. The M1 iMac can handle all of that thanks to that M1 processor. Apart from the iMac having this great FaceTime HD camera, it also has an improved microphone system. So there's a three mic array built into the iMac and has beam forming technology. So it actually focuses in on your voice and also manages to break down and eliminate all of the background noise as well. So not only are you looking great with the FaceTime HD camera, but you're also sounding pretty good as well thanks to the three microphone array. The iMac has plenty to offer too on the connectivity side. This particular model has four ports on the back, two Thunderbolts, two USB-C, and they, are, they come in handy if you want to connect like an external monitor or an external hard drive. The Thunderbolt ports are capable of up to 40 gigabytes a second data transfer, so uh, that's plenty of speed to get uh, data on and off the computer. On the Wi-Fi side, it's also compatible with Wi-Fi 6. So if you have the very latest modem router or mesh Wi-Fi systems that support Wi-Fi 6, you're gonna get some great wireless performance with the new iMac. One of our favorite new features on the iMac is Touch ID. For the very first time, the iMac now has a fingerprint reader. You can see it here in the top right-hand corner of the keyboard. So in the same way as it's used on the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, you're able to then unlock the computer, authorize payments on the App Store, Apple Pay, all there, literally at your fingertips. So it adds a little bit of convenience to the iMac. So no more typing in passwords to unlock the computer. Just put your finger on Touch ID and it's unlocked. And there it is, that's the M1 powered iMac from Apple, a fantastic desktop computer that has everything. It has a fantastic design, amazing speed and performance, a great range of matching accessories as well. It is, I think, the desktop to beat. Apple has really excelled themselves here with this amazing design and of course that amazing performance as well. If you wanna read our complete review, head over to techguide.com.au. Thanks for watching.